Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. Today I want to show you a really cool shell pattern colorful scarf we're going to do together. So I used five spools for this huge scarf, 200 grams total. And here we have our colors for today, red wine color, mustard yellow and gray. And my needle size was six millimeters. So if you want to see how you can make it too, stay tuned and I'll show you exactly how. So here is my first pool, so let's get started. Let's find the thread and do 23 chains. So for each shell shape in the pattern, you will need 4 chains. Here we are, so let's count 5 chains from the end. So here, and we can take the thread and do a treble crochet and then another one after that. So do everything into that same spot so that you get it nice and tight for trebles and the chain in between of the treble so that we get this shell shape around one chain and leave three out and do the same again. I took the thread from the middle so it's very practical and I can pull it out and not have it roll away. Three chains here and here we go with our next shell. I'll finish this until I reach the end of the row. Three shells for now. Here are the five and now I'm at the end of my row so I will do just one treble into my last chain. Three chains for the height and now you can always go into this big hole that forms in between two shells. So use your first row to make things easier from now on. Here is our pattern forming already. Here comes that one treble. Six 
So the rows always end in one treble and start with one as well, so that way you get your pretty pattern. So let's now count three for the height, which we have here. After that, turn around and again use the spot from the last row that makes things easier. I will finish this pool and get back to you. Here we are, the first 30 rows, so here is our current row now. I'm stopping here because I have very little wool left over, um, which you can see right here. And now we will finish this row and switch colors at the end of our row so that we get equal parts. So just watch and follow my lead. So just take it into the pattern and that way you can keep going with your three chains for the height and everything else just like before. After I finish the yellow comes the craze pool. So I finished my three spools, let's go through with the red wine shade, our beginning. Um, afterwards we have here the yellow, mustard yellow as our middle color, but last and not least is the gray here. So red wine, mustard gray, mustard again and red wine again would be my color order. So I measure the full length of the scarf and it's... Um, yeah, it's pretty long. It's around 140 to 50 centimeters. So now we will pull the thread out and we have very little leftover wool. Um, so let me show you. So here, um, that's our beginning and end color we have here. We want a loop scarf, so let's connect it now with the end and beginning so that we get a loop scarf in the end. And just now pull through each big spot you see here and that way you get a loop scarf. So it's a really easy thing to do. So you can see the pattern here, our first row actually, here is our last. So yeah, let's get to it. Follow my lead. Now we connect the big spots as you can see, so it's really easy to find. Just align the shells and whenever you see a bigger opening, um, yeah, feel free to connect it. So these are really easy to find, but if you don't like loop scarves, you can just leave it like that. Anyway, connect it with your thread.
here is our connecting row from the inside and a cool thing is that it's invisible from the outside so the shells basically go into one another so now we can pull the thread out and weave it in later Well, there are things to weave in this time, so there's a bit of work left, but nothing too difficult. So each color change and beginning and end. So I'll do that and then I'll show you what I have as an end result. So here we are, everything is done. Let me show you the scarf now. So the tiniest gray part here, then the two yellow ones here, and then the red wine color. Also two parts, but it's connected to form a loop all together, so it looks like one bigger part. I hope you guys enjoy the pattern as well as the scarf. Let me know what you think, if you would maybe leave it as a regular scarf, or if you like the loop version of it, or um, something else we could do in this pattern. So, thanks for watching DIY Ideas, I hope to see you soon in our next video. Feel free to subscribe and shoot a thumbs up so that we know we are doing a good job. And I'll see you in our next video. Until then, have a lot of fun and a great day. Bye!